So we've created our new div. We've added text into that div. We've given that div a class as well, which is attached to CSS in our main.css to make changes to that div. Now what I want to show you is how do we actually create an image from scratch and have it display on the page. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to modify the previous program we just built by creating a new IMG tag using just JavaScript and attaching an image to it using document.set attribute. All right, so there are three more lines of code we actually have to add here. The first one is we need to create a new element. So we'll do var new IMG. We're just going to call it new IMG. Document.create element. And we'll just type in IMG. So this creates a new image tag and stores that in a variable called new IMG. We then need to set the attribute. All right, and the perfect place to do that would be right underneath our new div.appendchild text here. So we'll just do new IMG set attribute. Now this rule requires two inputs. The first one is the type of attribute. In our case is source, SRC, and then the value that is contained within that attribute. All right, so we could actually change this to class if we wanted to and do added class and it would do the same exact thing as this. All right, but with set attribute, we can actually do any attribute we want. So we can do on click and actually say, you know, we want to add the added class function. That could totally work as well. But in this case, we just want to add our source and we're going to go to Google real quick and grab a smiley face image from Google. Just grab this first one right here, view image, and I'm just going to grab this link. And I'm just going to paste the link right in there. Now you could save it in an IMG file. That could totally work as well. Uh, just for simplicity, I'm just going to grab a link here just to show you how this works though. So that's the second line of code we needed. The third line of code is to actually append it to an element. In this case, we're just going to append it to the body tag, just like we did with our new div. and we'll save it. So let's go ahead and refresh our page and see if the image shows up. There it is, a massive image that just showed up and it shows up right here under our elements as well with our source attribute and everything.